joint accounts to avoid probate. Good idea or bad idea? Well, not surprisingly, the answer is it depends. So let's say that the person has one child who's a very responsible child, and it's that child, when I say a child, I mean an adult child, who they want to inherit their estate, their bank account. Maybe, the bank, uh, maybe their estate is very simple. We're just talking about a bank account. So should they set up that one beneficiary as a joint owner? Well, having joint ownership is kind of risky. The reason for that is, let's say it's all of mom's money and she wants it to go all to the daughter. And when mom dies, mom wants to avoid a probate because it's a very simple estate. So why go through a probate? So she adds her daughter as a joint owner of that bank account with rights of survivorship. And if everything goes smoothly, then that plan works. So on mom's death, daughter is a joint owner, the bank account isn't frozen, the daughter gets all of the money, that's simple. So that estate plan worked. But what if things go awry? And when we do estate planning, it's kind of what we plan for is things that you know don't work exactly like you wanted them to work so same situation but let's say now the daughter who's the joint owner on the account gets sued maybe she goes through bankruptcy maybe she caused a car accident maybe there's so many maybes that put now uh, that daughter as a defendant in a lawsuit and now that joint account that's mom's money is completely at risk yeah, can mom protect that money? Most likely she can, but she's going to have to hire a lawyer to protect it. She's going to have to fend off these creditors because having her daughter's name on that bank account put all of those assets, that account, at risk. So that's a good reason not to put anybody else as a joint owner on a bank account. There are other ways to set up uh, an estate plan so that you don't put your money at risk.